One thing about visiting the same place over and over again is that you begin to see patterns. And as I've mentioned countless times, I'm often at the waterfront uh, working or just hanging out there. And something I noticed quite a while ago, I noticed it, I think about five years ago, was that the police, they have a, the, I mean, they're the police, but they also have a, a, a division that goes about on the water with these sort of speedboats. And every so often I just hear this noise, you know, see a speed, see the spray of water and you see a speedboat going to stop somebody or tell them this or tell them that. And you see all kinds of things. It could be, I know that you need some kind of papers, a license or whatever. And I had seen cases where uh, people had been stopped and could, could not, could, um, what do you call it, sail further. I was going to say drive further or whatever in their boats because they didn't have something. I'd seen <laughs> people who had been going too fast and they were caught by these uh, police guys. I've seen people who were drinking and then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly the police appear out of nowhere and you see this can of beer or wine suddenly push, be, be pushed to one side. But the thing that really got me is that on the um, north bank of the River Eye, where I used to spend a lot of time writing there along I Boulevard before COVID, opposite you have the headquarters or one of the police headquarters and the speedboats they hang out that's that's their sort of uh, home base and I every so often I see one of these boats and it would just be speeding along and then it would make this arc a sort of this big 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 curve and then park and it really seemed as if these guys were just showing off and I saw it once and I saw it twice and I thought, yeah, but there's nothing here. Why do they need to go so quickly? And I can imagine if you are in control of such a machine, the temptation will be there to test it to make sure it works properly at high speed. So you'd often see these boats sort of zoom along and making this, this uh, smooth curve with all this spray as they hit their home base. Um, a couple, actually, I think it was more than, a, probably about six months ago, I was out on the southern bank of the River Eye and nothing, no big deal until I heard this noise and it was like a, is it a water ski? And this was one of the police water skis and I'd never seen one before. I hadn't seen, at least I'm sure they have them, but I just never seen one. And there's this guy on it and he just zoomed in one direction. And then about 10 minutes later, I saw him zooming back in another direction. I couldn't see, there were no lights. He was just really sort of gassing this thing. And then at a point, he stopped near to the pier where I was. And I thought for a moment, am I going to ask him, are you just mucking around on this thing? But I thought I couldn't, um, I just didn't find the, is it courage or the whatever, the motivation to actually get up and go to the guy but I was watching for a bit and he seemed to sort of be fiddling with things and he also had there was a laptop so he would stop and open or it's a tablet or something small thing and he'd be fiddling around with stuff on that so I really felt he's just testing this to see whether this particular uh, water ski had the power and maneuverability to catch uh, the bad guys whenever the bad guys happen to do something on the water I don't know, but trust me, if you are, if you spend enough time uh, on the waterfront in Amsterdam, you will see these people in their speedboats and they just love it, especially in summer. They just love moving quickly from left to right. Um, yeah, who knows what I will, inv or who knows if I will eventually investigate something or further and find out um, a bit more about the police and their boats. I can't say. All I can say, if you are hanging about along the River Eye, there's a strong chance at some point you will see one of those boats zoom by. And if you are lucky, you will catch it, make that fantastic curve as it swerves into its own base with water everywhere. Quite heroic.